All right, verse 9, And they went up on the breadth of the earth, and compassed the camp of the saints about in the beloved city. And fire came down from God out of heaven, and devoured them all. Okay, this is talking about the unsaved people, just like what we read here in Matthew 13, where the harvest is the end of the world. All right, and at the end of the world, the wheat, which is the saved people, are gathered into his barn. And the tares, which are the unsaved, are bound and put in bundles and burnt. All right, that's the unsaved. So also, um, the unsaved will compass the camp of the saints about in the beloved city. Now the beloved city is not on earth. The beloved city is up in heaven. All right, and so we can go to Galatians 4. Uh, let's see. Let's see how far off I am on this. Right there, verse 26. Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. All right, so the holy city of God is New Jerusalem, which is above. All right, I think if we go to John chapter 14, Jesus says, In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also okay so again the new jerusalem is above and so at the end of the world after all evil is destroyed the holy city comes down from god all right onto a new heaven onto a new earth with a new heaven all right so that that beloved city which the the unsaved compass about it says here encompass the camp of the saints about this is when we are up in the air with the Lord, just like what we read in 1 Corinthians 15. All right, 1 Thessalonians 4. All right, and so also can we go to Genesis 3, verse 15. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed, and it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. We are up in the air with the Lord, and Jesus stomps his foot onto the head of the serpent, destroying all evil, all iniquity forever. All right, and so also we can go to Psalms 110. This is just one example of many. Keep that in mind. Okay. Where it says, The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand, until I make thine enemies thy footstool. So again, we're up in the air. Our enemy is at our feet. All right, Revelation 3, verse 9. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee. Right? So again, we're up in the air. Our enemy is at our feet. And... God's going to make them to know that he loves us, right? Because we believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. All right, so go back to Revelation 20, and where it says, They compass the camp of the saints about in the beloved city. This is when we are up in the air with the Lord, and our enemy is gathered at our feet. Remember, till I make thine enemies thy footstool. We're up in the air, enemy at our feet. Fire comes down from God out of heaven and devours them all. Right? This is when the terrors are put in bundles and burned. Right? This is when Jesus stomps his foot on the head of the serpent. Right? This is the end of the world. And this will be the end of them.